what's up guys, I thought I'd do something a little bit I thought I'd do a little video uh, showcasing some moments that I'm going to have on Arcade and I'm also going to be joined, yes that's right, I'm going to be joined by a good friend of mine a good friend of mine called Paradise Master, he can't include his audio right now he's having some technical difficulties with it, but I thought I'd just jump in on what's it called the arcade mode with Jin. Oh my god, it is so fucking hot outside. Yeah guys, it's been really hot here in Scotland. In the UK. Really hot. Hope it's alright where you guys are, but it's been Flipping hot these past couple of days. So yeah, other things I wanted to talk about as well. The update for Warframe, uh, what's it called, the sacrifice, might actually be coming out quicker than I thought. This, it's getting put into cert, I think it's cert, like they're putting the cert up for it today. So hopefully it should be out, uh, what's it called, maybe this week coming. So if you guys are in your Warframe and you like my Warframe stuff, then yeah, I will be probably streaming that when that gets, when that comes out. So, Steve nearly get electric to the face. Set. Yeah, this is Paradise, guys. You want to be talked about again for Tekken? Yeah, no. I, I am the boy, the legend, the gay, the AO. Well, I just wanted to ask a couple of questions about uh, how do you feel Tekken's tech going? What do you think is going to happen in the next uh, installment? What do you think is going to happen? Where do you think going? Aye, where do you think what's going to, what do you think is going to happen in Tekken 8? Yeah, you mean like story wise? Aren't yeah, story wise. Alright, I'd say. Um, I don't know, it's gonna be probably a showdown between Kaz and Jen. Probably. Yeah, because that's something that I thought was a bit weird. Like, why have a Kuma in it? That like, Akuma wasn't even like. Uh, he's not now since he added him. I know, remember. but he's not. So there's gonna be something like, where they're, they're all fighting yeah. the air. If you get me, as in like it's one v one v one v one. I hope it's like what's it called? Like they have a Kuma fighting Kaz, and then they they forget that like Jin's there as well. But Jin obviously kills. Oh my god! Even that doesn't. Aye, but Jin Snow. Jin Snow sneaky man. You won't do that. What? Tell me a time when he's sneaky. Eh, uh, Paul Rong's ending. He's, uh, he's, Rong is quite, ending he's quite sneaky in that. And probably breaks the glass in the window. <laughs> nice parry. Yeah. yeah, but Jin's like heavy on the I doubt he'd fucking sneak attack Kazi. It'd be like one on one, you know what I mean? Oh, by the way, guys, something as well I want to bring up as well is the trailer for the Predator film came out, the new one, and it looks really good. There's a new trailer out, so I think Crazy Story. No, being, a, no being a Predator fan, I would suggest it. Looks decent. Yeah, even Neil's agreeing with me here. Sorry, Paradise Master. I'm cool. You know, with you call me Neil, I guess, I don't know. It's awesome, it's alright. If there's one thing oh, yeah, that kind of like, what, that kind of bothers me about Tech 7 is the music. Some stages had better music than others. Aye. Tech 7's Some music's not really that. Some stages in Tech 7 look. Amazing, but their music was a bit shit. Like Infinite Azura. I mean, you usually get the same Infinite Azura had like 
Infinite Azura had like really good music up until this the final. I think it was like the second round. Alright, so I think the stages. It's like most of them are like so fucking dark. It's like none of them are like happy or cheery whatsoever. Besides <laughs> kindergarten, and that's yeah, nobody wants to play kindergarten. You know what I mean? And the music, it just. I don't know, it feels boring. Oh crap. You know, like the usual dubstep trash you'd find in any game ever. Oh yeah, something as well to note guys, uh, Paradise actually was telling me that they were actually fixed. They've actually fixed the, what's it called, the clips, so... Yeah, expect more, uh, what's it called, Tekken clips coming up. From Tekken 7. Cause that's how I've not been uploading as much is because of this weird audio delay that the Xbox has been having. Uh, you know, I'm surprised you've not brought up one thing yet. What's that? The fact that I'm fighting a cat arena? No, I can't see that so... You know, I'm no fucking sidekick. Panty shot. Hey, what is it then? Alright, Tekken 7. Um, you didn't really talk about that there could be a season two or nothing. We just went like, oh, oh yeah, well done, well done. Thanks for reminding me that. Yeah, we're <laughs> expecting, <laughs> we're expecting DLC for uh, Tekken Seven, which um, well, soon. it's not been announced or anything like that. But uh, Harada, basic, well, no Harada. It's like um, the Tekken community, whoever like runs the Tekken, they say keep Michael, your, they tune in to the Tekken World Tour, which is basically. Um, Competitive scene where a bunch of guys in Tekken they fight stuff they like that. They did say what's it called? Yeah, they did say somebody did like data mining and they found out that there was actually like hidden like stuff. Files. It was like yeah, hidden files. So we could be yeah. expecting in some the DLC section it was hidden. Like there was eight files classed as unknown, where lies on geese and that are. So uh, the people are thinking that it could be possibly new DLC. And the other thing is oh that God, with the world okay. tour, they just said, they, they just said tune in, right? As in, like, you should hear for, like, any announcements, or they could be just talking about the actual tournament itself, so it could be misleading either, or you could think, oh, maybe announcement by the time it's done, because Harada oh, has shit. done that. He has done that, he's announced things at, like, world tours and shit like that. However, uh, Evo, the most disappointing thing I've ever seen, in my opinion, like blue ball is like fuck, do you remember that bit? I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, for those who aren't like familiar with like the Tekken scene, uh, Harada did do a, a talk and he was basically saying that he wanted to appeal to like the younger generation of gamers. Uh, he basically he said that his community is so fucking old, uh, once you take away the life support, they'll probably die, and then they really <laughs> need to go to the younger generation, you know what I mean? Oh, we've got a lore fight here. We've got a lore fight. Uh, well, we'll nah, I don't get it, though. I mean, I'm like, this is 19. You know what I mean? He's like, ah, oh, community's old. They're, they're all old. I'm just like, huh? What? What? To be fair, there is a couple. Of, there is a couple of them that's quite old. Aye. But yeah, there's like, no, like, it's not like these ones like Ames and Ames and Sweet, I guess. I can't believe JDCR's like about the fair. Like he's about thirty odds as well. Aye, all the Koreans are all about thirty odds. I find that insane. I'm sorry. It's just like all the Koreans are in their fairies and stuff like that. Now, to be honest, I don't think Harada mm. really needs to appeal to a community like that much. Tekken did well, remember? He just has to keep pulling in the people he's got right now. That's the way I view it. Oh, by the way, guys, as well, I talked about a previous video, but I'm going to try and once Soul Calibur 6 comes out, uh, me and my buddy Neil. I'll be making videos <laughs> on that. Well, I hope Neil vid does videos on it. He said he did. He will. Uh, so. That probably will. To be honest, I think the game looks amazing. It does. And I'm like, I think I could be wrong, but the gameplay and the mechanics play a bit like number four. 
because there's like one yeah. move that I saw Sig Free use. Remember I told you it's meant to be the most fast, like fast paced um, Soul Calibur ever? Yeah, so it's like fast from Soul Calibur 2. Well, it's like 4. No, no, but it's like 4. No, I know David, what you mean, I know what you mean. Gameplay's mostly gonna be like 2. What is the tre this treasure battle? Oh, this isn't the treasure battle, man, this is just arcade. Uh, he's yeah, checked that so we could just talk about uh, topics about Tekken and shit like that in his channel, I guess. I think I will. I'm sure. Uh, what was that talk? Ah, yeah, so. Yeah, so Calibur 6 might play like, what's it called? A bit of 5 and 4. Maybe 2. Aye, that's if it comes out. Ah, oh, I should have that laser. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I hope it comes back into the pack, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hope Soul Calibur 4 does come back. I wouldn't mean 5, but if Soul Calibur 4 does, then that would get people hyped. Aye, to be honest, I think that's the only reason why I'd buy it. If it came back to the pack, because it does look interesting. You know I mean? Yeah, the mechanics in 4. The whole critical. Edge, shit, I'm dead. Oh, the thing that appeals to me is just Vader. Mm. What, for four? Oh, well, I'm dead. Aye, four. Well, the thing is, Vader was DLC for four. So you would only get Aye, but he's, he's available now, do you know, remember? Yeah, I know he's available, it's like DLC. I blew oh. and people were like, going, how'd you? Vader. That was amazing, me Vader. <laughs> you need to grab four, but... Oh, by the way, Neil, I'll, I'll show you that sick intro I made when this video gets put up. It's actually really cool, it's a cross over. But yeah, definitely. Definitely so Calibur 6 when that does come out. I think it's October 13th or so. When that comes out I will definitely be buying it. I'll probably get the pre-order bundle. <laughs> Got a pre-order that shit my guys. Mm-hmm. I've actually I've actually got the what's it called the pre-order stuff for the Yeah to tell me. Hey man, he's free. He's like, he's gonna like stream to him, just like, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen, because he had like such a shit session yesterday. He got like four characters to know, even I'm just. 13 like, minutes, I might actually stream, I might actually stream about a couple more minutes. Because I'll need to actually edit this or do trim or do for my video. Uh, a couple of minutes. So I did be talk. Round two. Fight. Also, don't forget to check out. Nah, I'm Ken. I'm Ken. Yeah, don't forget to check out Paradise Master. Fuck's sake. No. I was kidding. Why do you know what? Let me check out your channel. They might actually like your content. Oh. I was kind of like. I was just going for like a wee joke segue there, but. Oh. All this. Oh, see, so whenever I get like a shower, I just kind of feel dirty. That's for putting it. Like, what was it again? Yeah, setting somebody's writing in the chat about stuff. Hold on. Right all of the Yikes. boss versions of certain characters are cheap. They include certain moves in there. Look. I agree with that. Wait, what? Like, I know. So, uh, he was basically saying that the. The boss characters have got like cheap moves that the regular right. versions don't have. I noticed that when I was fighting Jin. I mean, I'm alright with bosses <laughs> being OP, you know? So yeah. I quite like OP bosses, I think they're interesting. Oh, what the fuck? Someone's yelling outside, that was insane. Eh, uh, what else can I do? If you can get that bit out. But seriously though, I do like OP bosses, for example. Um, I love Azazel. I love how bullshit he can be. I love Jim Patchy because he's got an infinite stun. 
I like the Akuma mm. boss fight, even though I hated it. Oh, this is something as well oh. that I wanted to talk to him and it's not me get this out of the way. I've talked about this in my other video, but I wanted to talk about this real quick because I hope that this actually becomes DLC. I really want Jin's, as you're seeing right now, this is Jin's Blood Vengeance outfit. I really want this, this outfit. Because they have, they have basically, well, Kazia's Blood Vengeance outfit in the game and they've got Nina's. They could probably add Lee's in but his face, eh... Uh, I don't know, where is he? Aye, but for Kazia, it's not really his Blood Vengeance outfit. It is! It's, it's, also his, blood, like... it's his Blood Vengeance Yeah, I know it's outfit. in Blood Vengeance, but it's also in the story. It's yeah, just I a know, part of it. it's his it? Blood Vengeance outfit. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Take it easy, guys. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>